right, we're going to go through the two cabs. The, uh, the, the new one, which is the all vintage 30s, sometimes felt like it was a, like the placement of the mic was maybe not right. It was like a little dark. So I did kick the PR20 in a little bit more into the cone last night. It, then it was brighter, and I, I don't know. I got to just do it on fresh head. So this is straight, all finished 30. These are both traditionals, 57 PR20. That is a slant traditional, all, uh, and that's a, a X pattern of greenback and finished 30. So we've got, you know... Uh, 57 on the greenback and a buyer dynamic M160 on the vintage 30. So, and we've also got running, we're running this, uh, this, this, this guy, the straight with the, a, a pair of API 512s and uh, BAE 1073s on the other one. And I switched them real quick and the, the top end, I like the top end on the Neves. It's more open. It, it just sounds, it's more my jam. I don't know, but we're going we're gonna to mess around here. So, yeah, there you go. All right, so let me, my phone may go off because the weather's really bad and I got my kids are at school, so I want to make sure in case anything goes down. Uh, yeah, so, you know, I did that little thing with the, with the recto, you know, that black Les Paul. I just want to do a little testing for this next batch of songs. I'm just going to go back to my regular WCR. This has got the like overwhelmed PAFs. It's really. <laughs> so this is uh, Cab One. So this is. Uh, uh, 57 and 421. This is vintage 30, uh, vintage 30 greenback blend. Sounds nice already. So let's put it on this, this, and we'll put in cab two, which is the straight with all vintage 30s. Doesn't have the M160 though, it's got a PR20 instead. So let's just hear this. And it's the APIs. thirties on the straight. They're both nice, right? So here right, and this is I did move in that mic a little bit. After yesterday it felt a little weird. So back on to here's uh cab two which is all vintage thirty. And then vintage thirty greenback. That sounds almost the same. It isn't. 
It's weird. And then all finished third. It's got more of the uh, like that. It's like my, that's like rusty sounding, like those finished third. Right now, the combination of Greenback and Vintage 30. Okay, yeah, they are different. They are different. I mean, aesthetically, at first, it's kind of like, whoa, they're similar, but they are different. So, uh, I'm not moving any mics now. Let me just double check that the phase is good because I did them by eye yesterday and never checked. Does everybody know the, the does everybody know the tick tick where you you want that peak transient you know to kind of line up to the best of your ability? I'm usually pretty sample accurate because I've been doing this forever. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah that's pretty much it. Okay, cool. So I want to try something. He wants to try something. Stay right there. And we are going to go back to this rectifier. Because I'm still not sure that, you know, I, I, if I'm being totally honest, it feels to me like... My Black Paul needs new uh, pickups. I, I don't know. I, I'm just not really sure if I'm feeling them anymore. Uh, so this is Recto Channel 2 uh, Vintage Mode. This is kind of... And I'm going to put probably... Well, let's see. Let me, let me see where I'm at. Let's see where I'm at. Oh, I'm back on the first cab. Sorry about that. Give me one second. Try to keep it like uh, same, you know, same patterns, right? So here's. See, I think I like it better with this. Ah, and here's the the map. wasn't liking yesterday uh, this is channel 3 this is with just a little bit of yeah, so this is channel 3 well we know it's in modern mode. turn down that see it's funny that the different speakers microphone combos whatever they react differently to different sounds you see the the second mic on the on the that's the greenback the greenback got real loud in in channel three modern mode hey pretty good note And now we'll go back to channel two. I think the mic positioning is fine. And I think that the amp is fine. I think, I think that I need, I think that pickup in the Les Paul is no good. 
I don't know, it's, it's that old WB. It was the one from the pickup shootout, and I really loved it. But it's something about it's kind of like, I don't know. It, it also, that guitar has 11s and it's in drop C sharp, which is not optimal. Uh, right, so I'm back on this. Okay, I got it. So we're back now, channel. But now we're on the uh, all finished 30 cap. Yeah, without being able to hear that, like, uh, because I'm hearing the other room too. That just sounds cool to me. That sounds better than with the with the mix of the vintage of the. So here's now channel three, all vintage thirties. Here we go. go so here's channel two with the blend of greenback and finish 30 <laughs> Those APIs are darker because when I flipped it, this is what I was wondering if if I'd be better off. Ah, uh, whatever. Here, I don't know. Recto combo, uh, vintage uh, vintage thirty and greenback. <laughs> Like that to me is more natural. That's what I hear. It could use some top end, right? A little of this action, maybe. It could be cleaned up a little bit, but anyway, you get the gist of it, right? All right, so let's bypass. Let's kill this. Yeah, boom, done. All right, we're going to try one more thing. Stay with me. We're going to just stay right where we're at. Uh, give me one second. Oh! Woo! Got a Johnny Wooten story for you, my old assistant. So in, in Raleigh, the, I don't know, the, the, uh, the, um, the cab room was about maybe, I don't know, 50 feet away. It was in another room. It was like a back by the machine room for the SSL. And he, uh, I did the wrong went the wrong way. He he was back in there phasing mics. I don't know what he said or what I heard, but I was like gong gong gong, and his head was right at the cab. So It was a great moment in time. Not so much. I mean, it became a going joke. 
Like he'd be back there and be like, don't play. I said, what'd you say, play? I said, play real loud. <laughs> I still do it when people are in there like, like, don't play. I'm like, you want me to play loud, you said? So what I'm doing is doing a capo. But again, the one other major thing other than the capo that really sucks tone is 11s, dark. I don't care for 11s, but in drop C sharp, I can't really play on 10s on a Les Paul. It's just, it's too flubby. So we're going to call this uh, Black Les Paul Capo. So we're going to kind of play the same. I think I did the draw that. that. Yeah, so you know that riff. So now. So here is the WCR Paul. It looks like the blacks may be a little louder, and here's the black Paul. WCR. WCR just sounds more like a Les Paul, like normal. This this is almost not like an EMG feel, but it's got more of a. I think this. There's something about this Les Paul is just heavy sounding, and this pickup. I think that the output's about the same. I think they're both around 14k, but this is more like a heavy rock pickup. Yeah, this is more like, not metal, but like more heavy rock. So, Black Paul. WCR. Yeah, I mean, I like the WCR. It's a little more lively. And again, also, the thing being with, with 11s could play into a little bit of the, I don't know, it's just a little... Black Paul. WCR. Oops, sorry. WCR. Yeah, they're both cool, right? Six of one, half a dozen of the other. So here's the uh, here's the eight hundred into the cab with the combo of uh, fifty seven and vintage thirty. And all finished 30. Funny, now I really hear the difference. At first it seemed like, oh, are these similar? But they're really not. It's, there's this rustic, rusty thing to the Vintage 30s. And you know, uh, homie, what's his name? Uh, Tim Pierce, that's all he uses. You know, people talk smack about about vintage 30s, but he said that he feels that for recording, there's something about they just sound right the way they cut, and like he just like all his cabinets, I think, are all vintage 30. Or I think that's what he said in a couple of videos. That's all he uses. So yeah, there you go. 
So Vintage 30, uh, and, and there are different mics and different cabinets with different preamps, but gives you a vague. This is Greenback Vintage 30. All Vintage 30. Now here's Recto Channel 2 with Vintage 30 and Greenback. And now with All Vintage 30. I would brighten that up. Yeah, both of them are nice. I mean, this is too dark, though. And it depends on what you're trying to do. And here's Channel 3, Modern Mode, Combo, Vintage 30, and Green Bell. All Vintage 30. And Black Paul. Sounds fine. All right. There you go. So, I'm good. I'm just going to stay where I'm at. I'm just, I'm not going to switch out pickups. And the, I think the mic placement is fine. If I want a little brighter, a little darker, a little more low end, you just go, boop, right here. I've got an EQ on the pedal board, everybody. Anyway, there you go. So I'm going to be mixing all day today. But uh, tomorrow, tomorrow or Thursday, I'll start working on vocals for that. The, the new old song, uh, Never Late to Waste. The response has been really good. People really like that song. I was like, all right, cool, man, right? It's always good when it's good. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm glad you guys like it. And, uh, yeah, the next video will be kind of about vocals, and then it'll be about mixing. Peace out.